So in our last video, we took a look at this wonderful plugin. In this video, we're going to take a look at the compressor, their core compressor. So we're going to do what we always do from left to right. So we have our input, we have our attack, our mix, threshold body release, your gain reduction meter, and your output. And then over here, you have what I call the magic sauce, crush. But we're going to get into that a little later. So I got some sounds here that I just put together for this video. Now the compressor is off. So these are my settings. Let's take it out of bypass. I'm going to take it in and out of bypass really quick. Do you notice a difference? It actually sounds more tighter when I turn the compressor on. So the reverb that's already printed to that signal, it brings it up a little bit. And I kind of like that. But every now and then you want to come and adjust the attack and the release. Just don't put everything fast. Now, this is how it sounds with a fast release. Great, it's doing this thing, but it's releasing the signal too fast. Versus. Again. So let's have a little bit of fun and let's listen to this drum loop. Simple. So let's open this up. Have a little bit of game reduction there. Let's abuse this. Now we have this body here. Let's bring that up. Sounds like it's adding some low end to the signal. Let's take a look at this crush. You have a button that gets you exactly where you need to be. Because you don't need to mess with any of this. Of course, you can do it manually, but if you want to crush something, press the crush button. So we have our basic options here. We can resize the GUI if we wanted to. We also have this that'll take you to their website. We also have the capability of writing some automation. I always show you that in all my videos because I think it's important. Now, one thing that it does not have, and I guess it doesn't really need to have this function, and that's the fine option. Usually in the Pro Tools world, you can hold on control, you can fine tune. Again, you don't need it. So really quick, we did talk about the mix option. I wanted to show you guys why that mix option is important. Now, if it didn't have the mix option, you would duplicate the track, blend the signals. No need to do that. It's a great tool. It sounds good. It has a crush button. What else is there to say? Check the description. There's going to be some information there. Go give this thing a shot. You won't be disappointed. So I want to thank you for watching this video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later, guys.